Good evening, Ted's Puff Pro. How are we doing tonight? Well, we're going through some challenging times right now. And I want you to take a minute to think your life inside and outside of the, of the pandemic. And the reality is, is that we're going through some stuff. And as I stand before you, I want to confront the reality that is in front of us. Millions of people have lost their jobs. Thousands upon thousands of families have broken up because of divorce and familial issues. There's a rise in depression, anxiety, hopelessness, where many of us feel like, what is my next step? Dream. 
the story of what she did. They didn't have running water. So she would have to go down to the well. She would take a bucket, she would put the bucket into the well, put it down, bring it back up, and go home to mom and dad. Well, she met this man named Francesco one day. Some phone calls after one of my 
the same. It supposedly said that you make between two and three thousand dollars of your five plus friends. If you're anything like me, when I heard that, I made some phone calls and said, we are no longer friends, and I immediately started looking for some new friends. But our environment, the people we surround ourselves with, have you ever gone out to dinner? And as soon as the waitress or the waiter hands you the water, oh, the lemon's not good. Okay. The food comes, ah, uh, the barbecue sauce isn't sweet enough. Okay, how's the food done? Not at all salt. And before you know it, you're actually enjoying your meal, but by this point, you're saying, I don't even want to eat anymore because of this person that I'm sitting with. And a lot of the time, the environment that we have around us will either influence us and push us forward or hold us back. So chances are, you and I both have to rip out some weeds in our lives. The next thing my grandmother taught me, the next ingredient to the recipe of success is, you have to understand the nature of failure. Can I tell you something? Things are going to be hard. I wish I could stand up here and tell you life has been easy for me, but it has been pretty much the complete opposite. And for my grandmother, she was one of 13 kids. And when she came to America, she was abandoning all of those 13 kids in order to pursue a better life here in America. But as she grew older, she constantly had this thought. And I want you to think back to a time in your life to potentially what you had a thought of, did I make the right decision? And she started to cry in her room one day and think, I'm a failure. I came here with my husband, my three kids, but I left everybody else. <laughs> she never let me see her do that, but I would hear her tears. But there was another thing that I noticed about her. That instead of letting this perceived failure hold her back, she used it as a way to love everybody else just so much more. There's a saying out there that failure is fertilizer. It's steam. We don't like how it smells. It's yucky, but it helps everything grow. So as you look at the things that you've gone through in your past, I want you to answer this question. Despite all of the pain, anguish, trauma, regret, all of the failures, obstacles, and feelings that you may have, how are you a better person as a result? Because it is only when we begin to look for the benefit in the battle that we become better. The next thing that Grandma decided to throw into the pot of success was to never give up. Winston Churchill was once talking to a group of cadets as he was an elderly man, and he closed off his speech by telling all the cadets to listen up. And his very last words were, never, never,
so that we can ultimately leave a legacy behind. William James said that the greatest use of life is to spend it on something that will help last it. We can't build anything that will outlast us if we give up. And lastly, my grandmother told Tommy through her actions to always look forward. until I lost my grandmother. In 2016, I stopped at my grandmother's house. We had a nice meal. She asked me a question. Devin, will you sleep over? And I said, Grandma, I'm busy. I'll sleep over next weekend. Unfortunately, next weekend never came. She had a massive heart attack just five days later. I was never able to have a single And for months and months and months, I was filled with regret. Until she taught me Devin, that was the greatest gift I could have ever given. Because of losing my life, I gave you yours. She taught me how to live. So B, Bruno's recipe for success. B, believe beyond your current circumstances. 